Thank the gods! Don't thank them yet. Let's get out of here. I don't think I could have survived much longer. Why were those Malakis keeping you prisoner? They were raving, convinced I'm the villains at play. They wanted me to lead them into a dark ceremony and tortured me to recite their spells. Nothing was enough. You're safe now. I am. But the witch has plans to harm the citizens of Elise. She says they wrong with her, so she poisoned the shipment of supplies for the city. I'll have to destroy those supplies before they get there. But now that she knows you're here, she'll leave her hiding place and flee into the wilderness. No one will be safe if she escapes. I can't let the people of Elise be poisoned. I'll destroy the supplies. can be poisoned by the supplies.
I destroyed the poison supplies before they could reach Elise. Well, that's good, but the witch is still out there. Nobody is really safe. I'm not safe. You think Xerxes was ever safe? Leonidas and his Spartans wanted him dead. His own mother would betray him, given the chance. Xerxes asking for safety. You're right, the king of Persia would never grovel. He'd crush his enemies before they could execute their plans. I'm glad you see it that way. You should get back to Thespis. I will. And thank you. Xerxes will rule at last! Happy to have helped, Your Majesty. Have you come to learn about the mysteries of Hidoni? Sure, I'd like to know. Let's start with... What's Hidoni? Hidoni is the goddess of bliss. And since we all seek bliss, we are all Hidoni. I'm not seeking bliss. I'm seeking an actor. We have no actors here, only teachers and students. Look, his name is Tros. He's an actor working for Thespis. I recall hearing that an actor joined us, but now his name is Hidoni. Like mine, everyone here is Hidoni. Just give me a straight answer. I need to find that actor. I'm sorry. I'm the only one permitted to speak with outsiders. But if you pass her initiation, others will speak with you too. Fine. Initiate me, Hidoni. What do I have to do? Wonderful! You must complete two tasks to demonstrate your devotion. First, climb to the top of the waterfall of eternal joy and dive into froth of fantasy. Right. And then what? Then, explore the cave of deepest self-knowledge and return with the treasure you'll find inside. Waterfall dive, cave treasure. Got it. This is the waterfall. Now to pick a good spot and jump. Cave must be around here somewhere. <clears throat> ha! That must be the cave with the treasure inside.
That's what I'm looking for. I jumped from the waterfall and found the treasure. Now, will you initiate me? You have initiated yourself. Welcome to the mysteries of Hidoni, Hidoni. Go talk with your brothers and sisters. They'll be happy to meet you. I'll go speak with them now. Are you Tros? I'm looking for an actor named Tros. I had nearly reached the third level of Hidoni's godly bliss when you interrupted me. Now I have to start all over again! You get on with that. It's probably best you stay away from acting. Kere, are you Tros, the actor? Um, I... Uh, no. No, I'm not here. Good. Otherwise, Thespis is terrible at choosing actors. Hello. Are you Tros, the actor? You must be me. There are no actors here. Our only role is to be Hidoni, to inhabit her grace and tranquility. You sound like you know something about the theater. 
I wouldn't say I know much about it. I might have studied a little Aristophanes, a little Euripides. Medea was robbed, you know. If you aren't the actor Tross, you're certainly good enough to be him. Come act in Thespis's play. I'd like to help you, Hidoni. But I need to stay here. Work on my enlightenment. All right? Picture it. You, up on a stage, showing hundreds of people how wonderful the message of Hidoni is. I'm offering you that chance. You just have to take it. That is magnificent. A chance to spread the joy of Hidoni to so many people. I'll do it. Good. Now go report to Thespis at Pelops Market in Ethics. Get on with your rehearsals, Hidoni. I mean, the Fialtis. security here. Cassandra, my muse, my helper, the one who saves my posterior. I require your assistance one last time. You've got all your actors, Thespis. Your audience is sated, so what's the problem now? Leonidas himself is the problem. Picture it. I was rehearsing a monologue, brandishing my shield, encouraging my soldiers. Come back with your shield! Or under it! I believe that's with your shield or on it. No, no, I'm sure it's under it. But just as I gestured with my shield, I slammed it into my toe. And now I can barely stand, let alone act. It's a shame you have to cancel the play after so much work, Thespis. We are not cancelling the play. We'd have to give back people's drachmi. The show must go on. My Leonidas is right in front of me. What? Me? I'm no actor. And I'm no general, but on stage I am. Think of it. You could bring the great man's memory back to life. He could live again through you. It's my destiny. I'll play Leonidas. Excellent. So, let's do a quick run through of your lines. You already heard the first part. Come back with your shield 
or under it. On. On it. The next part is directed at Xerxes. The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods in wine! I'm pretty sure Leonidas said drench the gods with their blood. I know what I wrote. Finally, when you confront the traitor, today was a day the Persians will never forget. Tomorrow is a day the kings will remember. Tomorrow is a day the world will remember. Leonidas battled for all of Elas and its freedom, not just Sparta. I'm sure you'll get it right. If you like, go rehearse with the rest of the cast. But if you feel ready, to the stage with you. I'm ready. Let's start the play. Welcome to our play, the heroic tale of King Leonidas and his 300 Spartans. Behold, your Leonidas. Thank you for being here. Remember that Leonidas was not only a king of Sparta, but the savior of all Greeks. I am the Anikis, lieutenant of the great Leonidas. I will serve him until Hades himself comes to claim him. My commander, my king, we are outnumbered and outmaneuvered. What can I do to help? What does the Spartan general have to say to his right-hand man? Come back with your shield, or on it. I am Xerxes, king of the Persians. Your puny gods mean nothing to me. Kneel before my mortal self. You Spartan cur! I will grind you and your people under my sandal. How will Leonidas reply to his mortal enemy, Xerxes? The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods with their blood. All right. I'm a Fialtis. Exile and traitor. You know I'll bring doom to the Spartan army by revealing a secret goat path to the Persians. Those stuck-up Spartans won't stand a chance. I've defeated your plans, Leonidas. What are you going to do about that? The traitor dares talk back to his king! What will Leonidas say to that? Today was a day the Persians will never forget. Tomorrow is the day the world will remember. Great job, my friend. Enjoy the crowd's reaction, because I don't think Thespis will be happy you went off script. I think I can take care of him. I can't believe it! You ruined my perfect script! Didn't you hear the crowd? They wanted to hear the real story of Leonidas. I should know. He was my grandfather. <laughs> you never stop performing. I love that. You almost had me convinced, you joker. Here, you're part of the take. Thanks. Maybe I'm more of an actor than I thought. Huh. Hey, 